this this being Sunday evening and uh, the children being gone to the, the picture show, I I had the opportunity of uh, Mr. Bell extended me the invitation to go down and in his uh, workshop where he uh, uh, showed us the television and the pictures are uh, wonderful and educational and uh, I'm very proud that, that this man is, is doing this kind of work in St. Joseph and I think he's to be complimented on this kind of work and it's uh, a very fine thing for the citizens of the community here to patronize this kind of a man as he's putting his heart and soul into this kind of work and, and I would appreciate uh, very much if you throw your business to him. Uh, I was greatly amused in seeing these things, something I had never seen before in, in my life, and it was hard for me to uh, uh, to believe Mr. Bell when he told me about uh, television. Uh, we're living in days now when uh, people just can't vision these things happening. I, I was greatly surprised to see them, and it's, it's wonderful to me to have the privilege uh, of visiting in his shop here. And if you want to have a good job of work done on your radio, why, uh, be sure and give Mr. Bell a chance to work on your radio, and, and I'll assure you that he can do you a good job, and you'll be proud of it as he done my radio, and I had a lot of other people in the community do that kind of work on radios, but he's about the best that I've ever found in the city of St. Joe. So if you have any work, give it to Mr. Bell. He's a fine boy and is deserving of it. And uh, I, I'm sure that you'll appreciate uh, having him do that kind of work for you. I, uh, being kind of lonely, and uh, it was a great opportunity of Mr. Bell extending me this invitation. It's been very long, and I lost my wife, and you know, uh, people are, get lonely, and, and having nice friends that way that helps you pass away the time, it's a lot of encouraging to you to have people throw the love and friendship around you that way, because I've always considered Mr. and Mrs. Bell good people, and they're trying to help anyone and to lighten anyone's burdens that way. And I'm sure that if you get acquainted with them, you'll be more than glad to help them in this kind of work. And that's the way that I have spent the evening with Mr. Bell. Sunday, October the 2nd, uh, and uh, a very nice day. We've been outside all day. Uh, had a little bit of disappointment in the ball scores today. We were rooting for the Cardinals. The Cardinals won theirs, but they missed the chance for a tennis race. Uh, what do you think of the ball game, Russ? Well, I, uh, I'm not quite disappointed myself. I was so in hope that the Cardinals would win. I'm, I'm quite a baseball fan. In fact, that's about the only sport I really care anything about. And then to think that St. Louis Cardinals would lose. I, uh, I don't like that, but I guess there isn't much I can do about it. What do you think about Mr. Cox? Well, I, w I was, uh, was wanting to see Brooklyn win in the National League, not because I was against St. Louis, but because Brooklyn had always wanted to be in a World Series and they never had been permitted to be in one. And uh, that was the reason why that I would like to see Brooklyn come out victorious in this World Series. I was disappointed in seeing the, the Yankees win because I want to see the Boston Red Sox win in this. And that uh, would give them a chance. But as I see it now, I think the Yankees will beat Brooklyn in the World Series. Well, do you think they will, or? Well, uh, now that the cards are no longer in the running, I'm more or less uh, neutral. I don't much care uh, who takes the pennant. I'll enjoy the game, but uh, I've lost a little bit of the old fighting spirit there. And my team is the <laughs> play. Uh, by the way, uh, for the benefit of anyone who may be uh, unfortunate enough to have, have to listen to this record in the future, uh, Mr. Cochran is Mont Cochran. Uh, Mr. Williams, Loyal Williams, and of course Bell, Earl Bell. Uh, we just witnessed a little television show, uh, one of WDAF's first test shows. Uh, it wasn't too bad, and there's lots of room for improvement on WDAF's end of it. But 
uh, a year or two from now, we'll see the good figures that we'll forget the little noise that we had and the slight uh, uh, bit of distortion. So I guess we can let it through it. Uh, let's get on the subject of gardening. Uh, or, uh, I mean, uh, there's no competition, you know what I mean? In the rose field, uh, well, we do have a professional rose grower in the down here, uh, uh, my road garden speaks for itself. The vegetable end, I'll let you two it. Well, I, I'm no vegetable man, no, not much of a, a rose man, only four years experience. <coughs> but uh, we grow them for commercial use only and not for look. And uh, they are saleable roses. Which Earl does have a nice little garden, uh, that is a rose garden, I'll have to admit that. But uh, we all can't be lucky, I guess. <laughs> what do you think of this garden? Well, uh, Earl has really got a nice rose garden let's, up let's there. Let's forget my garden. And uh, uh, the thing is, now, I can't compete with them on that, but I can compete with them on growing tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> and uh, that's my specialty in, in truck gardening. I had some very large ones this year, as Mr. Bell and, and uh, uh, will tell you. I always have good luck in the, in the garden field, and, and I've done that ever since as a boy. I learned it from my father, and uh, that's where I get a lot of my knowledge is through my father and the truck gardening end of it. Might add, this is uh, October, and we enjoyed some of uh, my tomatoes for dinner today. Uh, very good. They're still still growing. Doing doing well yet. The frost holds up. We'll probably have tomatoes at Christmas. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have to wind this up for now, so. Let's uh, wind it up. <laughs>